And so I const constantly encourage my co-workers at Fiat and at Chrysler to go beyond the cliché and the conventional to try new approaches and change perspective each and every day. I exhort them not to repeat the same things, the same approaches, and I remi remind them that they are indeed free. And the freedom I'm talking about is something inside you. It is determined by how open-minded you remain, how receptive you are to the new and to the different, to the infinite possibilities that present themselves, even if you don't go looking for them or could have never imagined them. Being free means that you have the strength not to be conditioned by what, what others want you to do or by what may seem to be the easiest choice. I have no roadmap to give you for your own personal journey. Actually, the road you choose is really not that important. What is very important is how you choose to travel along it. There are many doors along each one of our paths, and behind each one of those doors are things that can change us and our lives. But only those who have learned to appreciate every experience whose minds are open to change are capable of seeing those doors. And this is the greatest opportunity you have, the opportunity to dedicate yourselves, your dreams, and your abilities to the enormously important project of creating the tomorrow that you want. The shape and meaning of tomorrow's society will be crafted by your ideals and how you think and how you act. Every one of you has a contribution to make toward the creation of a better society. But it's important not to lose the optimism, the sense of confidence in ourselves and in the future. It's important to keep on going and to keep passion alive. In my life, I've never seen anyone make a dream come true without making the commitment to never stop fighting to make it real. And the recent history of Chrysler is just an example of the kind of approach that I'm talking about. Chrysler needed to regain faith in itself and view the future as an extraordinary opportunity. It needed to adopt a culture of change as necessity, respond to uncertainty as a challenge, and began measuring itself daily against its competitors and ultimately the market. The people at Chrysler are an example of refusing to despair, but rather choosing to stand and fight, even in the most desperate of situations. In 2009, we at Chrysler were in dire straits. The general view was that we were basically finished. We demonstrated that by working hard, believing in ourselves, and climbing back into the ring, we could change the course of events. The ability to move with agility and decisiveness is the greatest quality of our family of organizations. My challenge to all of our employees is to exploit that opportunity to the fullest. And I hope that some of you will consider taking on that challenge with us. If you do, exceptional opportunities will open before you in both your professional and your personal lives. You will have the chance to contribute your talents and your aspirations to the even grander and nobler project of shaping and giving meaning to society of the future. I don't believe that any of us can have aspirations that are higher than that. 